too much fun. Too much fun. We're back with the Pico Calc. We back. It is fun, but it is indeed a do-it-yourself device. Don't buy it if you're not willing to tinker. Number one, you have to put it together yourself. Definitely check out my old video. I'll post it over here, whatever, if you need to know how to put it together. It does not have a full Linux operating system. No, it does not. But it will allow you to switch out to the modules or CPUs or whatever you want to call it. Came with a Pico 1 board, but I have a Pico 2W. W is for Wi-Fi. Yes, Wi-Fi. And I will be demonstrating just a little bit of that magic here very, very, very shortly. For my quick demo, I do already have my little program loaded. Let's see. So it says import demo try plus. So we'll import it. We'll up arrow again because I've already ran this once. And then I'll show you how to load it to yourself. Then for the main, we'll call it boom. And it's going to scan through the little networks around my area as well as list all of the Bluetooth devices and the proximity of them and tell you how many feet you are away from it as you move about your life. So I think it's pretty cool. Yes, it was AI assisted. Did it do it all? No, it didn't. I had to work back and forth with it like it's my little assistant. So it did take more than five minutes, more than 10, more than 15. We won't talk about how long it took. All right. So for the remaining part of the demo, we will be loading this on to my other device. What will you need? Let's unplug it. All right. At the bottom, USB-C. No, don't want to use that. Use a micro USB plug in through serial. You will need a little program called Thani. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Maybe. Let's uh, plug it in. Make sure it's off, by the way. A little green light should not, a repeat should not be on. Let me share my screen. All right. So I've been playing around in here already. Notice it says connection lost. That was when I unplugged it. If I click over here, I can quickly get it back. Boom, it's back. That's how you know, right? So a couple of things, a couple of shout outs. Sources, all right, GitHub. This guy, Zeno Dante, that's where you get all of these wonderful files. Not the custom stuff over here, but the MicroPython driver. You don't necessarily need to follow all of his directions, just download the zip, and this is the content of the zip. Did it completely work out for me? No, I had to do some modifications. So when you first drop the UF2 file on, in my case, it would be this one here, the 2W for Wi-Fi. Uh, so you would uh, essentially hold down a little white button, hold it down before you plug this in, before it will show up like it is a USB device. You will then uh, drag this file onto your device. You could do that via your operating system, command prompt or whatever it is. And then you will have MicroPython, but your screen will not work at all, all right? So after that, unplug it, plug it back in, make sure the green light is off and you'll sort of be at this stage. You will need a few basic files. So in the root, there is a main.py has nothing in it. Don't worry about that. And then the boot, the boot didn't quite work for me. The check SD did not load. And the check SD comes from the Pico calc system. So if you work your way into the modules, you will find Pico Calc system. If you do a uh, command F on Mac, check SD, there is this part here. So I did just port that into my own custom file called check SD. See right here, import OS time check SD. This is for the SD card loader so that I could get through this issue. And essentially what I have is a custom boot just for 
this. So I'm saying from check SD, import check SD. And that's how my particular uh, Pico Cac works. Yours may work a little bit differently. Just sharing. Command W a couple of these that we don't need. We'll talk about flush later. Mass spread, that's part of our demo. Also, I was inspired by Soren. Shout out to you, your video was cool. You did a great job. I won't try to do it justice. All right, back to the demo. So uh, for the demo and such, you will need to get files from your hard drive or from your disk, which is up here for me, to your Pico Calc, which is down here for me. All right. Oh, one thing that I didn't cover. Um, if you do need to do your initial setup, you can go to view and then files, right? And files again, that'll bring it back. And to drop files into your Pico Calc, which is down here, you can just right click and send them down. So for instance, for our demo try plus, upload to root, which is a slash. Yes, we want to do it. We really want to. That is a mandatory file. And mast bread is mandatory, so we'll upload that as well. Okay, we are good to go for those two files. Let's get on with the demo. Let's let's import try plus. Yes, demo try plus. Cool. It also loads bread at the same time. Bread with pants. Ha ha ha. Cool. And then what we'll do is we want to run it. I'm just up, up arrowing through many things that I've done. Try plus main, no. No, 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 no. Yes, demo. Okay, anyway, we'll make our own. Uh, plus main, open close. Make sure you get rid of the import part. It's calling the Wi-Fi and it has some cool names to mask my real information here. Heart of Gold Network. No, these are Bluetooth devices that are near me and it tells you how far away you are from those devices. So if I move this around just a little bit, these distances will change. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Any this will run for 60 seconds and it will exit you out of the loop. Just a tip. Well, I'm not that patient, so I will control C out of that. So if you do have any changes, like we'll make a change to mass bread here. Let's see, go down to the bottom, mass bread with pants. So we'll say with a hat and then we'll save it. Since this is micro, it does cache everything. So although I made a change here, I hit save and then I will send it down to the unit. It will confirm. And if I run it again, it, it just, it just, it just doesn't care. Let's import mass spread directly. Nothing. Right. Cause it's already loaded. So I created something called flush AI assisted, of course, that will flush the cache. So let's import flush. Okay. Have a nice little helper here. Flush interactive or dot interactive menu to pull it up. All right. So we have that. Let's list the modules. Cool. So what we can see is currently loaded are some of the default values as well as demo try plus. All right, and mass bread. So we want to get rid of both of those, but for the sake of time, we'll choose flush all non-essentials, which is four. Do you want to? Of course we do. All right, so that is good to go. If we press one again, zero modules loaded. So cache is flushed, seven to exit. Now, if we load mass Brad again, mass Brad with a hat. So it did accept our changes. So essentially we are good to go. What else? 
think that's it. So we will run this one more time. Let's get rid of this screen. Um, you can simply just unplug. Remember we were powered off. We can power on now. It won't remember anything. I mean, the files are saved, but we can't just up arrow at this port. So import demo underscore try underscore plus. I think that's right. If not, it will yell at, yell at us, but it did not. Saying that Brad is loaded. We're going to cheat. We're going to up arrow. Just add main. Open and close parentheses. And we'll arrow over and get rid of the import because we already did that. If you guys know of a faster way, let me know in the comments. Okay, scanning. It's Livestock Industries. What movie is that from? Yeah, it was a good movie. Or at least I enjoyed wherever Stark Industries came from. All right, so that is essentially a wrap. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, let me know what projects you guys are working on or if there's anything that you'd like me to demo. I'm open to it. Until next time, be great. Take nothing less. Bye for now. Thank you.